welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video. So for today's video, I'm gonna be trying a new brand to me and this brand is Liberty Bugs. I have not tried this brand before, but I have heard of this brand and they sent over some products for me to try out. So the first thing we have is this 15 color gel nail polish set. And then we also have a nail tips and glue set. So I'm most excited about this gel polish set because it includes 15 gel polish colors, but it is a mixing set. So it kind of reminds me of like an artist and having some colors of paint and then being able to mix a bunch of colors. And I'm not really like, I haven't really played around too much with mixing gel polishes and creating custom colors or um, really creating colors that I want or trying to color match things. So I feel like this kit is going to be super fun to play around with. I am going to be trying this kit out in today's video and messing around with the colors and I kind of have a nail set in mind. I'm not really sure what I want to do yet just because I kind of want to play around with this. I think what I'll do is I'll play around with this kit first and try to see if I can mix up some of the colors. There are so many different colors you can make with just using 15 colors. This kit does only include 15 colors, but you can mix so many different colors from those 15 colors. So I'm just really excited for that. I'm excited to try these products out. I will be leaving these products linked down below in the description box in case you guys want to pick them up for yourselves. Um, I also want to give a big thank you to Liberty Bugs for sending over these products. I am first going to unbox the nail tips and glue set just so we can take a look at this because this is what I will be using to apply the nail tips and getting my nail extensions and then to um, play around with the gel polishes, try out all of the different colors, mix some colors up, have fun with this, and then of course I'll be using these gel polishes for the um, overall overall nail look. Okay, so let's quickly just unbox this nail tips and glue set. This is also from Liberty Bugs, and I just want to take a look at everything that's included in here. One thing I did forget to mention, this is the medium almond. They also sent over another nail shape for me to try. I'll have that in an upcoming video trying that kit, but for today, we're gonna be trying their medium almond nail shape. Opening up the box, we do have the application guide. For the application guide, it does just have the directions step-by-step -step with pictures. It also does have some Q&A. The next thing included are the nail tips. Like I mentioned, these are medium almond. There's 240 pieces, 10 sizes. They are full cover and they are also full matte. The next item included is this nail tip cutter. This is perfect for if you want to clip down the length of the nails, but this is also great for when it comes time to remove the nail set. You can clip down the nail length length for an easier and faster removal. The next item we have is a buffer and a hand file. So we have the buffer on one side and then the hand file on the other. The next item included is this nail glue for nail tips. This is a 7.5 ml. I actually really like the blue bottle. That's pretty cool. And this is just what you will use to apply the full cover nail tips. It seems like it is a little bit of a thinner consistency, so it may be a little bit difficult to use if you are a beginner, but nonetheless, it is going to apply your full cover nail tips. And lastly, the last item we have included in this kit is the nail lamp. I really like these types of flash cure lamps. They are the flash sensor ones. So when you put your finger in, it will turn on and then when you remove your finger, it will turn off. And then we also, of course, have the cord and this does look like a relatively long cord, so that's really good. So I quickly just wanna take a look at these nail tips. There are 10 different sizes and I just want to look them over real quick. So the nail tips do range from size zero to size nine, zero being the largest and nine being the smallest size. Looking back to the bag for the nail tips, it does say they are full matte, and then it also shows an image here where it almost looks like the nail tip is full matte. But taking a look at these nail tips, they are definitely not full matte. So I don't know if this is just the wrong bag 
or if the nail tips are in a wrong in the wrong bag or if there was a mix up or a typo maybe. I don't really know for sure, but these definitely are not matte. Looking back at the box, it doesn't say anything about them being matte here. So maybe it is just a bag mix up. Either way, doesn't really matter to me because even if they were full matte, I would still do my nail prep to them just because I feel like it it's a normal process for me and it makes me feel a little bit better when I do it. But either way, here is the nail tip. I feel like honestly for a size zero, this seems a little bit small. Now I am wearing a glove, so the glove kind of adds on a little bit more like um, surface area for my natural nail plate. But this size zero does seem a little bit small. I do hope that they have the size measurements available on their website. That way, if you guys are interested in purchasing these, you can take a look at the size guide. Now, I'm not sure if they have that available, but my fingers are crossed. They do have that available. That way, you guys can take a look at that before purchasing this kit. But overall, you guys know it. I'm an almond girly. This almond shave does look really nice. I like the length. It is a really good looking medium almond nail tip and I can't wait to have these applied to my natural nails. Now for this gel polish set that I am super excited about. The box is absolutely stunning. I love the packaging on this one. Just all of the color really stands out. When I open up the box, this is how everything looks inside. So we do have the gel polish tubes. There are 15 colors in this kit and then off to the side we also have some other items here which I will be showing everything in just a moment. So the first item I want to take a look at is the application guide. The application guide just go does go into some information like all application guides. We just have step-by-step -step and pictures and it does seem to show here there are two options. So there's option one if you have a specific target color and then there is option two if you don't have a clear target color. So there's two different ways that you can um, mix up a color and it just shows the process of doing so. The next thing we have is the color card and I'm pretty sure this color card actually goes with option two. Um, you can use the color card to pick out the desired color that you want to create. And then there is another way that you can refer to a website to um, refer to the digital color card on the website, pick the color hue and adjust the color lightness. So you can mess around. There's like a website that you can also go to to help you mix up colors, which is really nice. But I think this color card is really cool. Um, so basically what you have here is a little like thing that you can move across on all of the colors. So say for example, I want to mix up this like dark blue here. I would just take this and slide it over to the dark blue and then I would see that to get the dark blue I would need to mix this light blue and a red and I would mix those equally to get the dark blue color. I hope that makes sense. I'm sure if you guys had like art class in school, you know what I'm talking about. But it also shows here on the back side, it shows how to use the color card on the front side. This is the front. It goes step by step how to use it. And then it also shows how to use the tint and shade chart, which is the back side here. So we do have the 15 colors. Now, of course, I cannot swatch these colors because they are in tubes. Well, I mean, I kind of can swatch them, but I don't want to because I'd rather keep them in the tubes and be able to use these colors to use as my mixing colors and be able to mix up all of these fun colors. But the tube, basically what it looks like, it has a LA and then a number, and then these are um, 7.5 G or 0.26 ounce bottles. So we have 15 gel polish color tubes. And then there's also some other stuff over here. The first item I'm showing here are some nail art brushes. These are very pretty. I like the like shimmer in the handles. 
but we have this brush which you can use as a cleanup brush or an application brush and then we also do have a liner and then on the liner the opposite end is a dotting tool the next item we have is some glitter which is super fun because when mixing your colors not only can you mix your colors to create your color choice but you can also add in a little bit of glitter and make it a glitter polish we have some nail brush conditioner and this is a 14 ml and I'm pretty sure that this is just for your nail brushes if they get like frayed you can condition them and bring them back to life and finally the last item we just have this little dish here that you can put like some rubbing alcohol in you can use this to clean off your brushes or just like clean in between mixing the colors I thought that the little dish was the last item but I was wrong when I removed all all of the like the top piece of the box I found out that there are some items underneath so we have a pair of white gloves the next item is a bag of lint-free wipes love that these are included because when mixing colors it can get very messy so we get a good amount of lint-free wipes and the last item we have a little palette and this is super nice because of course we're going to be mixing colors so this is really nice to have off camera I did go in and prep my natural nails for my natural nail prep today I did just go in with my DIY peel off base coat I applied cuticle oil I rubbed that in and I applied a top coat that is what I use for my peel off base coat and it works really well when I need to pop the nails off after I'm finished with a nail set now of course if you you want your nails to last you would go in with natural nail prep I do have videos up on my channel showing what natural nail prep I like to do for when applying full cover nail tips and also it's very important that if your nails are lifting if they're popping off you can also go in and prep your full cover nail tips I didn't do either prepping on full cover nail tips or prepping on my natural nails today because like I said, I am just going to be removing these and I do have other videos explaining my prep routine on my channel, which I'll leave some of those videos linked in the cards. But I am now ready to apply these nail tips. I did go ahead and size these out off camera just because they're in baggies and I feel like it's really pointless to show me sizing them out because I do it so often. But sizing them out, I just made sure that they fit from sidewall to sidewall. And then also don't forget if the nail tip, like if you're in between sizes, always size up, never size down. And then you can always take a hand file to customize that nail tip and make sure you get the perfect fit. To apply these, of course, I'll be using the nail glue, which was provided in the kit, along with the nail lamp, which I have now plugged in. And you can see that it does turn on when I put my finger in. And then when I remove my finger, it does turn off, which is really nice. No need to press any buttons. So to apply these nail tips, I'm just going to do the same process as I always do by taking this glue gel, which I mentioned, it does seem to be a little bit on the runnier side. I personally like a little bit of a thicker glue glue gel but nonetheless I've been doing this for a while so this isn't going to be super difficult for me I just know that with a thinner glue gel it can be a little bit more um, difficult for a beginner especially if you are new and it can just run a little bit more but I apply the glue gel to the full cover nail tip. When I apply the glue gel, I like to paint it on just where I estimate my natural nail to be. And then I'll add a little extra product just so I can ensure that the gel fully covers my entire natural nail plate. I'll go in, apply that nail tip to my natural nail starting at the cuticle, but I'll make sure that I'm not on the skin of my cuticle. And then I'll slowly lower it at a 45 degree angle until the gel has reached the free edge of my natural nail. Once the gel has reached the free edge, I will then just hold the nail tip in place and do my flash cure. For my flash cure, I do roughly a 20 to 25 second flash cure in the little mini nail lamp. And then I will repeat the process and apply all of the other nails. Once they all are applied, I will go in and do a full 30 second cure in my large nail lamp to be sure that everything is fully cured.
here are the nails after I have all of them applied and I did my full cure. I'm now gonna go in with just a little bit of customizing and filing and buffing. So starting off with a hand file, I'm going to take this to crisp up the nail shape. I'm also going to take my e-file with my 5-in-1 drill bit to go around the cuticle area to remove any spillage. This also really helps to seal in the cuticle and just give a seamless and flawless transition. And finally, I'm going to take my buffer to remove the shine from the nail tips. After I'm all finished filing and buffing, I'm just going to take a dust brush to remove all of the nail dust. Now that the nails are filed and buffed, they're all applied, I'm ready for my gel polish application. So I'm going to be playing around with these gel polishes and mixing the colors that I want to use for today's nail set. So I have in mind a very fun um, like blooming gel nail set. I want to do a blooming gel nail set. I haven't done one of those in a while. So the first thing that I want to do is mix up some colors that I will, th that I think about or want to use in the nail set. So I am going to use the palette here and I pulled out the primary colors. So we have the pink, the yellow, blue, and then I have a white. And these are the colors that I'm going to be using to create my colors. Now do keep in mind, this kit does include 15 colors. So I also have other colors that if I feel I'm not getting the exact color that I want using just these colors, I can play around with it and mix in some of the other colors to be able to get more of like the color that I want, if that makes sense. So I wanna play around with this a little bit. I'm thinking about doing like a bright, almost like, um, like a pink, orange color. Like I'm liking like this color, this color, um, kind of those types of colors, maybe a lighter pink, lighter orange, possibly this brighter, like almost like a reddish pink looking on the back side here, just almost like more of like a warm toned nail set, but like bright, fun, like summer, like spring, even like those types of colors. So that's kind of what I'm going for. The first color that I want to mix up, I think for my base, I'm going to do a light pink color. And I think this one looks really good here. So if we slide this over, I need to mix a white and a pink to get the light pink. So I'm going to take this color here and just put some of this out on my palette. I don't really know how much I need. That's like kind of a bad thing, I guess. So I'm just going to put some of that out on my palette. And then I'm also going to take the white and I'm going to separate these two colors, but also put some of that white out on the palette. And then what I'll do is take my brush and add in that pink until I get the color that I want. This is almost more of like, oh wait, there. 
It is pink, I guess. That's really pretty. That was so perfect. I added the perfect amount. Um, I feel like this is definitely more of like a um, magenta color, this color here versus like a pink, but no big deal. This color is perfect and this will be so perfect for my base color for all of the nails. Even though now I am thinking I kind of want to add some yellow into it just to see what will happen. So I'm going to take some yellow and I'm just going to add a small amount in there. And this is kind of just for science or like to play around with it. So I want to just see what the yellow will do. Maybe it will make it more of like a salmon pink color. Oh my goodness, that's really changing the color up quite a bit. I didn't it's expect for it to do that. It almost changed it to like a nude. Ooh, that color is so pretty. I actually kind of like this pink better than the first pink that I created. Oh my goodness, mixing around and playing with all these colors is really just so much fun. But this is the first color that I created. Honestly, I have a feeling that this isn't going to be enough for all of my nails, but I'm just going to work with it and I can always try to mix up this color again. That's kind of the only thing that scares me when making custom colors is that when you are making a custom color, you could run out of the color and then you have to make that color the exact same. And I feel like that could be a little bit difficult. So I have these two colors here. Remember this kit has 15 different gels. So this one looks like a very bright pink to me. So I'm going to take this color and put some of this out on the palette. Oh yeah, that is definitely a bright pink. Oh my goodness. That one alone might be good for what I want it to be for. Yes, I like this one. This one's really pretty and I'm just going to keep that just the way it is because I think this will look really good with like the blooming gel effect that will be a good bright pink now i want a good bright orange so what i think i'm going to do is that same color the same pink i'm going to mix it with yellow and see if we can get a bright orange from that and have it still look and like go with the whole theme of like this pink color. So I'm just gonna put these both out on the palette and for the, um, and now that I have them both out, I'm gonna take from the almost like the pink red color and mix that into the yellow and that's how I will get my orange color. Ooh, look at that. This is so much fun. <laughs> it reminds me of being a kid and like painting and trying to go from only having three colors to having like 20 different colors. Maybe I'm gonna go in with a little bit of white. I don't wanna lighten up the color, but I do want to brighten up the color. So I did go in with a little bit of white and I'm just gonna mix that in here and just see what happens. I don't think it's gonna lighten it up too much. I think that's actually the perfect color now. It's like a very fun, bright orange. That's so perfect. So now I want a yellow, but I don't want like just a basic yellow. I kind of want to mix it and play around with it a little bit. So I'm going to take some yellow and put that out on my palette. And I think I'm gonna go in with a little bit of white. I'll mix some white in with that yellow. And I may even add like the smallest amount of pink into the yellow just to get like a very fiery yellow, but not make it completely orange. I actually had some orange on my brush because I didn't clean my brush properly, so that's something to keep in mind when mixing colors, make sure you are cleaning your brush, but it's okay because I wanted to add a little bit of orange anyway, and I think this is actually the perfect amount that was added in here. Just kind of gives the orange or the yellow a little hint of orange in there. So there are my colors. 
I think everything turned out really nicely. I probably will have to mix up some more yellow because it doesn't seem like there's that much yellow here. But we do have a yellow, a orange, pink, and then also a light pink for my base color. I'm now ready to go in and actually start applying these gel polishes to my nails. So the first thing I'm going to start with is I'm just going to use that same um, Liberty Bugs like application brush, the one that I was using to mix up the colors. And I'm gonna start with this pink color. First thing I'm gonna do is just give it a good mix just to make sure that all of the colors are combined together and everything is good and mixed. And then I'm just gonna go in with this color on the nails. I'm gonna go in with two coats of this color and I'm hoping I have enough. And I'm just gonna go in with two coats curing for 30 seconds in between each coat. Now that I have my base color applied to all of the nails, I can definitely say that this gel is not the best quality. I wish it was a little bit thicker and a little bit more pigmented. This is only two coats and they are relatively thin coats, but I feel like it just doesn't go on the best. Something I will say, it probably would go on a little bit smoother and glide on better if I did apply a base coat, but I just feel like I could not get a very clean application just because the gel wasn't the best quality gel. So I just wanted to mention that something else you can see here that almost like this gel is like separating. I'm, I hope that is picking up on camera, but you can see like the pigmented and then there's also like clear gel. So that's a little bit weird, but I think that it might just not be the best quality, but it still does work and I still had a lot of fun with it. So I definitely would still purchase this kit just because you can mix up colors and maybe that that's just because this was a lighter one. Maybe this darker pink would have had a lot more like coverage and it would have went on a lot smoother and easier. So I don't really know. But now I'm going to do the nail art. Like I said, I wanna do like an abstract blooming um, blooming design or blooming nail set using some blooming gel. So I'm going to do one nail at a time just because with blooming gel, when you apply the gel, the gel's going to spread and I want to make sure that I'm just working one nail at a time. So I'm going to go in with a layer of blooming gel and I'm going to keep this layer relatively thin because I don't want to work too slow and have the gel move everywhere. So I'm just gonna go in with a thin coat of this to the first nail, and then I'm using that dotting tool. This is the Liberty Bugs brush, and I'm just going to be using this hot pink, the orange, and the yellow, and I'm just going to use the dotting tool and just go and add dots onto the nail, and then the blooming gel will work into the gel and just spread everything out. Look at how well that's already working, oh my goodness. That looks so good already. I'm gonna try to move quick and keep up with the blooming gel here. That way I don't have like the full nail just covered in the gel. This is looking so good. These colors are so perfect too. I think these were the perfect color choices. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and cure this nail. This nail turned out so cute. I love the way that looks. So I'm now just going to repeat the process on all of the other nails and kind of just switching up where I start the dot placement or what color I use just to kind of get different like designs on each of the nails. But the first one, I really like it because it definitely looks like a tie dyed shirt or just like tie dye in general. And I really like the way that nail turned out. So I may kind of like focus on doing the general same dotting placement, but I will work one nail at a time just applying that blooming gel. And then once I like where all of the dots are placed, I'll go ahead, cure, and then I'll move on to the next nail. Here are the nails after I'm all finished with the nail art. I absolutely love how these turned out. The colors are so perfect with the light pink background and then with the bright pink, the orange, the yellow. These just turned out so good and they kind of remind me of like Starbursts. I'm now going to go in with my top coat and I'm just going to be applying this to all of the nails and I'll do a 30 second cure. And here are the finished nails after I have applied the top coat. I had so much fun doing these nails and I really love the end result. I'm now going to go in with my cuticle oil. I'm going to apply that to my cuticles, rub that in to nourish them. And of course, like I always say, top off the nail set. And here are how the nails are looking. These definitely scream summer. I know summer is still quite a ways away but I am very happy with the result. I love the bright colors. I also love that I use the blooming gel. I haven't used blooming gel or done blooming gel nails in a while. I know that it was very popular and I can see why. I really love just the abstract look and like almost like it just reminds me of tie dye. If you want to have like tie dye nails, definitely get some blooming gel. It can really help like create that tie dye effect. Like I mentioned though, I will be leaving the links to the products that I did use down below in the description box in case you guys want to pick anything up for yourselves. But other than that, here is just the finishing look of how these nails turned out. I had so much fun mixing up my own gel polish colors. You can really get so creative with this, create so many custom colors, and it can be really fun when doing your nails, and if you need a custom color, you can just mix it up using these colors. Another thing I will say is they do have smaller kits available, so if you don't wanna get all 15 colors, you can also purchase one of their smaller kits and still be able to make a good variety of colors. But I had so much fun with this. I also really like the gel tip kit. Really great quality and everything it turned out really well. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. But as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all next time.